Chris Muller. Finally, I catch up with him on Facebook and also YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen of the Beaver Allegheny County Time 93.7 The Fan, I've admired your work a long time, young man, but I love your writing ability, and you're working on that column, and it's all about the Red Hot Penguins who've won three in a row. Crosby's got 17 goals, and they put eight between the pipes against Ottawa, and they got another win, and it's Florida coming up on Thursday. Observation. Well, I'll tell you what, what I'm uh, writing about is actually, not to give too much away, of course, but it's about whether those eight goals and the style they've been playing might actually be a not-so-good thing for the Penguins. Believe it or not. Hey, defense wins championships, yes? Firewagon hockey went out in the 80s. I love it. I love it. I bet you a lot of the people that are going to read tomorrow and listen to us talk about it on the fan love it, too. But it doesn't win for a reason, usually, especially in a league that's all about systems. Let me ask you something, Chris. Do you think that maybe they're playing at such a high-octane level and let's face it, it's not even the new year yet. Could they burn out, do you think? No, I don't, I'm not worried about them burning out. You know what I am curious to see is if they flip the old switch, come about, I don't know, it'll be about mid-February, I bet, and say, all right, now it's time to play defense. You know, we're, we're happy to score five goals a game, but we'll be happier to score three and only let them have one. Okay, listen, real quick, before you go, um, mm -hmm. I talked to Dan Zigarelli, of course. He of uh, Farmers Insurance fame, love what he does, and also Pirates broadcast team and the Mountaineers, as in West Virginia uh, network. This guy does a little bit of everything, but baseball is really his forte. He said the McCutcheon talks with Washington are back on again. What does Washington have that we could use? Any pitchers in the mix? A couple of guys. Uh, one is Lucas Giolito, who is a fireballer who can touch 100 miles an hour uh, and has been for a while. Uh, their best pitching prospect. Also, Reynaldo Lopez, a guy who made the majors with the Nationals last year uh, as another pitcher. Less hype and less of a high ceiling than Giolito, but made the majors faster study. And then they got an outfielder, 19 years old Victor Robles, who might be out there for the Pirates. And I'll say this, Rob, they've already gone 0 for 2 of the Nationals. They tried to get Mark Melanson to come back. Couldn't do that. They tried to get the blockbuster move of Chris Sale, maybe the best pitcher in baseball. Got traded to Red Sox. Failed. Red Sox came in like it was a wrestling match with a steel chair and took him right from under their noses. They don't want to go 0 for 3, and the biggest fish left on the pond wears 22 for the Pirates right now. All right, before you go, tonight, just moments away, Pit, tonight on 93.7, the fan taking on Buffalo at the Peterson Event Center. Any thoughts about Kevin Stallings coming off the loss the first time they've lost to Duquesne in 16 years? I'll tell you what, he needs to not do much of that more uh, because I think he's got two guys, Michael Young and Jamel Artis, who are going to be the bell cow every game. Look at what they do in the box score, and you can probably have a good idea as to what Pitt's going to do or did in that game. He benched Jamel Artis for a game for reasons no one's entirely sure of. Of. Hopefully that message was delivered to Jamel Artis about how important he and how important Michael Young are to that team. Because if they don't get those guys having big efforts night in and night out, they're not going to do a whole bunch. Ladies and gentlemen, 93.7 The Fan, James Garrity, a bookend, equally fine young talent, taking time out from the news desk to shoot this on the AT&T phone. Rethink possible. Good night, everybody.